Hey, my name is Matt Clark, and today I'm going to show you how to connect a Pixhawk to a Raspberry Pi or an NVIDIA Jetson. You'll need the following for this tutorial. A Pixhawk. This is an older version, but the steps should work for newer models. A Raspberry Pi. This is a Model 4B or an NVIDIA Jetson device. In this case, I'm using an NVIDIA Jetson Nano connected to the A203 carrier board provided by Seed Studio. It features Gigabit Ethernet, an XT30 power connector, as well as an M.2 slot for an SSD. Its small size makes it perfect for use on a drone, and I'll be integrating it soon into one of my own. You can find a link to more information in the video description. You're also going to need a 6-pin to serial connector cable to do the physical connection from your Pixhawk to your device. I'm going to show you how to create this. To create a serial cable, you will need the following. Three jumper wires, a 6-pin connector cable, which should come with your Pixhawk, shrink tubing, and a soldering kit. I also like to keep a printout handy of the wiring for the connector. Take your connector cable and orient it so that the red connector is on the left. This is your 5 volt wire. Wire number 2, TX. Wire number 3 is RX. And finally, wire 6 is ground. Cut all six wires close to one plug. This longer section will be used as the main part of our serial cable. Trim wires 4 and 5. These are not required. I'm also going to remove the 5 volt red wire. The reason for this is we are going to power our Raspberry Pi and our Jetson Nano from a separate power source. Next, strip the ends of the remaining three wires ready for soldering. At this point, choose which color jumper wire to splice into each wire of the 6-pin connector. I'm using purple for TX, blue for RX, and black for ground. Cut and strip the jumper wires. For each wire, twist and solder them together. Make sure to refer to the pinout diagram whilst you are soldering. Finally, apply heat shrink to each of the wires. Now that we've got our cable, it's time to sort out the software. I'm going to focus on the Jetson Nano to start with, and I'm assuming you've already gone ahead and set up your operating system on the SD card. Now, I'm going to communicate to both the Jetson Nano and the Raspberry Pi via SSH. However, you can do all the commands I'm about to run with a keyboard and an attached monitor. Next, I'm going to connect the serial to six pin connector cable. If you're following along with the standard dev kit that the Jetson Nano comes with, the pinout is the same. So the ground, I'm going to connect to pin number nine. Now, just checking my notes from earlier, I can see that the TX cable was purple. Now, I want to connect that to the RX port on the Jetson Nano. So that is pin number 10. Finally, our blue cable, which was RX, we're going to connect that to the TX GPIO pin. That cable is now connected. Next, I'm going to connect the cable to the telemetry 2 port on the Pixhawk. So now that we've gone and connected the Pixhawk to the Jetson Nano, I'm going to go ahead and install MavProxy on the Jetson Nano. This is so we can double check that this connection is correctly working. So to install MavProxy, we also need to install pip for Python package management. Now that's installed, we can go ahead and install the dependencies for MavProxy. I'm going to then do sudo pip install pi yaml and mavproxy. I'm using sudo here so that when MavProxy is installed, it's in a known location on the file system. So in this case, user local bin. Now that's useful for if you write a systemd script so that when the system reboots, you can automatically restart MapProxy. I'll leave information on how to do that in the video description. All you've got to do now is to run it. So sudo mapproxy.py master, and then set this to the serial device slash dev slash tty THS1. Now that serial port corresponds to the ones we've just connected over GPIO. Hit enter and you should start seeing Mavlink messages coming through from the Pixhawk. And that is now connected. 
I'm now going to show you how to do the same with the Raspberry Pi. So just disconnecting everything. Come on, there we go. And I'm just going to put that to one side. First things first, you're going to want to connect the serial cable to the Raspberry Pi. Same process and the layout is pretty much identical. You're going to want to do ground to pin 9, which is this one here. Now according to my diagram, the purple wire is TX, so that's going to go to the RX GPO pin, which is number 10. This one here. The blue cable is the RX wire, which goes to the TX GPIO pin, which is number 8. Like with the Jetson Nano, I'm also going to use SSH to communicate to the Raspberry Pi. Now again, you can do the same procedure by using a monitor and a connected keyboard. So the first thing we need to do is to enable this serial hardware. And to do that, we need to use Raspberry Config. So sudo Raspberry Config, enter. We're gonna go into interface options. To navigate, I'm using the up and down arrow keys on my keyboard pressing enter, then I'm going to go down and enable serial, then login shell, no, serial port hardware, yes. Okay. Navigate to finish by using the tab key, enter. Next, I'm going to disable the Bluetooth hardware because it occupies the UART ports which we need to communicate to the Pixhawk. I'm going to do sudo nano slash boot config.txt going to double check that enable UART is enabled. Then at the bottom of the file, I'm going to place in DT overlay equals disable BT, which will disable the Bluetooth hardware when you next reboot. So I'm going to go ahead and save that with control O and then control X to exit Nano and then go up for a reboot. So sudo reboot. So like for the Jetson Nano, we also need pip installed on the Raspberry Pi so that we can install MavProxy. Before running any of these apt commands, make sure to run an apt-get update on your device. Next, it is sudo apt-get install python3 pip. And I typoed that. You saw nothing. Now that's installed, we can go ahead and install the dependencies for MavProxy, which again, we're going to use to verify that our connection to the Pixhawk is working correctly. Paste that all in, in the video description for that command, and wait for it to do the magic. Okay, that's now installed. So all that's left to do now is to install MavProxy. Like the Jetson Nano, it's a case of just doing sudo pip install pi yaml and MavProxy. Now to run mavproxy, it's sudo mavproxy.py master slash dev slash tty amao. That works. And that is how to connect a Raspberry Pi to a Pixhawk. I hope this tutorial has been useful for you and that you've been able to successfully connect your Pixhawk with your device. I want to give a thank you to Seed Studio, who graciously sent me the A203 carrier board which I've demonstrated in today's video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.